I made a video about the noisy Pixar Pro LED light. This video here. I said that I will probably try to fix it by replacing the noisy cooling fan and that's what I'm doing today. I'm fairly confident that I can do it 74%. The fan I got is the Noctua Redux NFB9. It's supposed to be a very quiet fan. It's only 17 decibels. It also got these notches on each blade. That is supposed to make it even more quiet. It's something to do with the airflow. It's 1600 RPM. I couldn't find any information on how fast is the one inside, but all the fans I looked at are around this speed, so it should be fine. It's 92 millimeters and it should physically fit. The first thing to do is to unscrew four screws on the lid and that will give us the access to the fan, which is just there near the front. Now, I need to be careful with the lid. There's a few wires connecting it to a board inside. I was being a bit too optimistic. I don't have access to the fan. The board with a bunch of components is blocking the way. I have to get it out. But the screws are in this way. So I'm not sure if I can get to them with my screwdriver. Okay, I can't get to it from this side of the light. There's not enough space. But I think I can remove the top half, so I will unscrew the front, pull this out and open up the top. There is a few screws, but they are kind of hidden behind this bit. Advice to myself, I really need to be careful around the LED. Don't want to touch it or stab it with a screwdriver. The screws I need to get to are still hidden behind this metal ring. Okay, the ring is off, all the four screws are exposed. And the top bit is off. Shame there isn't a bit more space for the screwdriver. I still have to remove this unit to get the access to the fan. And my screwdriver is too short. I can't reach the screw. I managed to unscrew the top two screws with this tiny thing I found. I also had to use pliers to hold the nut on the other side, but I can't unscrew the bottom two screws because I can't get the pliers to the other side. So I have to remove the LED and the heatsink. It's only attached by two screws. I thought it's gonna be so easy. I'll open the light, couple of screws, I'll put the fan in, but no. It's connected with a wire to the body of the lamp. I'll unscrew that so I can lift it a bit more. New and old together. And they are exactly the same size. And the last thing is to disconnect it. Kai Tian Shanghai Electronic Company made in China. This one has two pin connector. One I bought has four. I hope that is okay. It's fine on a computer, you can just leave one pin hanging. But the Chinese LED light? Who knows? A bit of a situation I got the wrong fan, I can't actually connect it. So I guess I'll have to make part two of this video once I get the right fan and yeah, I'll just have to finish it then. I don't know what to do with all of this. I can't just leave it here. I mean, look at it, this is crazy. I'm definitely gonna lose a screw. I'll see you again in part two. It's two days later but I couldn't find the right fan. Anything with the right connector is just not good. And mostly in China anyway. And that would take forever to come here. I need the light in like three days. Not even in my local electronics shop. Time for drastic measures. 
I will chop off both the connectors. I'll put the old one onto the new cable and that's how I'll try to connect it. I hope I will. Ta-da! I'm actually quite proud of this. I used a bit of insulation tape just to cover up the contacts there. I'm gonna plug it in and see if it works. Okay, that's all plugged in. I'll leave it open as it is, just for the first try. I also reconnected the green earth wire that comes out of the LED and the, the power supply. Okay, I'll plug this. There. Okay, the moment of truth. Yes, seems to be working fine. The fan is, the fan's also working. Okay, I'll turn it off. Now it's hard to say how quiet or noisy the fan is. It's not exactly quiet, but maybe that's got something to do with the fact that it's not inside. This is the one I was working on, the new fan, and this is the old one, I haven't touched. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure if the microphone is picking up the noise the same way I can hear it, but there is not much difference between the two. The fan replacement didn't really solve the problem, but I think I know why. I noticed that most of the noise, I mean, don't get me wrong, the fans are not quiet, so there will be some noise, but most of the noise is coming from the circuit board inside of the light, from the actual components. I suspect they used cheap parts to build these things. And it could, it could happen that you get electrical noise if you do that. Coil noise, that's quite common. I'm pretty sure that is some of that noise. I don't know what else to do. I'm out of my depth when it comes to these things. I don't think I ever done any soldering. So 